So what I will say is waiting for the uncensored version definitely without a doubt shits on the censored version because we discussed it in the comment section last time. It felt like our monitors were pixeling out, right? Like we were getting dead pixels all over the place and it kind of felt weird. But the uncensored version? banger so they finally decided to introduce us to akane and sumi akane is the baddest bitch in this fucking anime bar none everyone loves erisa everyone loves suo i too love me some suo by the way suo's a baddie but akane oh yeah that's the one that is the one and then we got the little adorable lovable sui chan who is also a cyborg battling machine but she is still probably one of the best girls in this anime she's one that we don't even need to protect you know how we always say we have to protect the little ones we don't have to protect her you see what the fuck she did to that bear jesus christ that was crazy let me delegate a little bit because they skipped a lot of chapters we moved very far ahead bro what i will say is they're doing a very good job of keeping the story beats still there you know what i'm saying the story beats that they're creating for this anime they're keeping it there so we understood that reito was a medical student he's a highly touted medical student he wants to create a cure for the mk virus and they're finally making it apparent as to why he wanted to become a doctor and just how studious he is like we knew that ahead of time and oh by the way who do you guys think was the one that released the bear <laughs> it's cool though they're introducing everyone to all the best girls right especially especially Akane, bro. She carried the series until we met one of the shorties from China who was also really, really, really bad. But Akane, man, you see, you see them titties? Jesus Christ. Them things are massive. And not only that, she she is the epitome of eroticism, bro. She is like what I want. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm getting sidetracked. This episode was a 7.5 out of 10. I'll say that. I think they did an excellent job introducing, you know, a couple of more girls to the harem. I think they did an excellent job of getting ready to introduce the third man. And as you could tell from episode one to episode two, did you guys notice the tone change in the series? Because it, it was it was subtle. It was very subtle. You may not have noticed because you, it's hard to take this anime serious because of what it truly is and what it's classified as. But you guys noticed the tone change from him being, you know, all weird about not wanting to mate and all that stuff. And then all of a sudden he's like, look, I'm going to make a cure for the virus. I may not be the, be the man best suited for the job to mate and make like 100 babies in a week or whatever or a year or however many he said. But I'm going to do what I can to cure this virus so that way we can wake up all the men from cold sleep. He still does doesn't know what's really going on and that's where it gets into the old lady being there right the general being there in that room while he was giving that speech that speech was important for story purposes because this is where things pick up that's why i asked the question did you guys notice the tone change because this is where things get a little crazy it's no longer in the eyes of a regular viewer a light-hearted like harem anime right like it's not gonna be one of those nah this is where things get a little interesting and what you guys also have to understand is cultivating this relationship with suo is important you guys don't understand how vital of a role suo plays in a lot of this shit like how important she's going to be long term i think it's good to have such a strong core around you especially in situations like this because you never know what's going to happen that's why i'm saying like suey bro watch how dope suey is going to be suey is going to be taking the fuck Oh, and I think there's still one more girl that we got got to get introduced to. I think she's a scientist, if I'm not mistaken, to make the, the harem damn near complete. So that way the plot picks up. Because like I said, bro, the plot's about to go crazy. You have to keep it tame at some point because you don't want to end up in a parallel paradise situation where you're never probably going to get an anime adaptation because of what it is. This actually proved to be a lot better than I thought it was going to be. So yeah, a 7.5 out of 10 is 100%
the perfect rating for this episode. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode yourselves. Let me know if there was stuff you didn't like. Let me know if there was stuff that you noticed they changed. Let me know if there's anything you're looking forward to in the future because like I said, this is where things pick up. You guys seen what I can a be on, right? You see why I fuck with her because I want a woman like her. She, oh uh, God, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I, I'm baffled, right? I'm lost for words because I was the same way when I read the manga, but Leave a like if you enjoy, subscribe if you're new, and as always, it's your boy Damo Senpai, and I will see you guys in the next video.